Ok. The hydraulic damper uh, lowering mechanism, which is a kind of a double dash pot, has a crack down here, which looks to me to be a frost damage crack, as does the crack in the top plate. I've been thinking about it quite a lot, and I decided I'm going to do a fairly superficial kind of braze that is going to that is going to um, stop the leaks but it isn't really structural as I could put this back together probably as it is and stop it with a bit of putty or something. Uh, at the same time I've uh, turned off the head of the um, of this uh, plunger which I had welded a bolt onto and cleaned up the um, anti-return valve on the uh, for the suds pump so all that looks perfectly good it's very surprising the um, the uh, o-ring for the seal in the non-return valve is even good I suspect it's one that Andrew put there so it's not that old I've been cleaning up the suds tank which you can see here, which is uh, uh, a thick um, welded steel construction. Um, I took the, um, the sight glass off the side, which was actually a, sight, a broken sight plastic. And I'm really seriously thinking, well, I won't bother to, to put another one back in it, as um, it really isn't... Uh, well, that's important. I can just use a tape as a dipstick and see how it's going from there. Well, there, there we are. I've braised up the um, two halves of the broken lid for the dash pot. I've only done it partially. Um, I didn't go all the way through. I didn't see any point. This is just uh, it's more or less cosmetic only. I could actually have put it back together without worrying about without worrying about the um, the split. It would have still worked perfectly well. The um, the reservoir for the um, for the oh, this has got a shine on it. The reservoir for the oil. Um, in the for the dash pots had a split from frost frost damage so I did a very shallow grind on it and brazed it back together again I didn't see any point in making it too deep it's only to stop it leaking it doesn't need it structurally um, it's not going to be any problem with it like that I don't think I didn't want to heat it too much so that it wouldn't um, to, to avoid problems elsewhere. Andrew told me that there was a screw on it for adjusting the flow uh, for the speed of, but for the down feed. Uh, the only place that it could possibly have been is here where my thumb is, but that's not a threaded hole. That corresponds with the hole at the bottom um, which is which through which the oil um, is ejected when the, as, as slowly as the pistons drop. The only other thing that I think that it could that could have adjusted the um, the rate of fl the flow rate to make it drop is uh, adjusting the cam here, which operates the rise and fall mechanism on the blade. Um, this could be the solution to regulating the speed at which the um, at which the uh, which the blade drops. So that that we'll see when we get it back together, which won't be too long now. I've um, I've wire brushed, wire wheeled, and cleaned up the sump which is uh, 
Uh, which is a surprising thick steel plate construction, which is very nice. I'm very pleased altogether with the way this machine is built. Uh, the, uh, I've wire wheeled and rust treated with a um, with a um, organic vegetable based wire uh, wire organic vegetable based uh, rust uh, inhibitor which needs rinsing off and it's cold outside and I don't really fancy going out and doing it. I'm rather pleased though that I've been able to just bend the hinges back into shape which means I didn't have to um, drill them out because they're spot welded on and they're, they're perfectly fine. So that's a nice little thing that happened along the way. Okay, well, let's leave it at that for the time being. I'm going to do some uh, painting now. My, my, my tractor blue, Ford tractor blue, is actually white because I use a lot of white paint here on the structure of my building. So I'll get back to painting all that and then start getting it back together again.